Hey there guys, today we are going to be going through the rocker arms on my Ford F100 engine. The engine is actually a 351 Windsor out of the 78 LTD. And I'm just going to inspect all the rocker arms and make sure they're all torqued down to what they should be. I'm using the Shelton's manual for this and it gives me the instructions so I'll be walking through all the details. The first step is to put the engine on top dead center and to mark on the harmonic balance here what top dead center is. You can see back there that mark on the pointer is top dead center and then I marked it. You're supposed to mark one right at top dead center. And then you're supposed to mark one 180 degrees top dead center. And then you're supposed to mark one 90 degrees clockwise of top dead center. And so what's gonna happen is we're gonna find out specific rocker arms on uh, when it's at top dead center. And then spin it 180 degrees and tighten down more and then spin it all the way over to that third mark and tighten down more. So let's jump right in. Alright, so the next job is to start torquing down the rocker arms. The book says, with the timing pointer aligned at mark 1 on the damper, tighten the following valves to the specified torque. And since mine's a 351, we're going to do number 1, 4, and 8 intake, and number 1, 3, and 7 exhaust. And it says, Rocker arm Titan specifications are 351 Windsor, tighten nut until it contacts the rocker shoulder, then torque to 18 or 20 foot pounds. And I have the 351 Windsor. So 18 or 20 foot pounds. I just did number one intake and exhaust, and it actually tightened them up a decent bit. So that's awesome. All right, with the crankshaft rotated, 180 degrees. For 351, tighten number 3 and 7 intake and 2 and 6 exhaust. Next, 
just rotate the crankshaft 270 degrees to point three. Next is to tighten number two, five, and six intake and number four, five, and eight exhaust. for the 351 Windsor are 18 to 20 foot-pounds and here is a view of all the other torque specs for everything else hopefully you can do that so this works for the 232 the 255 the 302 351 Windsor uh, 351 Cleveland 400 429 and 460. Um, for the straight sixes, you only, it says, scribe, once it's at top dead center for cylinder one, you only need a single line for the V6 instead of all three different points there. And then, instead of rotating 180 degrees after the first set of valves is, or rockers are tightened, for the six cylinder, you rotate uh, 360 degrees. So, there you go. All my rocker arms are tightened down, so the next part is to put everything back together. Okay, so it's dark now, so I'm not gonna film much, but I cleaned out the valve covers, and they are ready to go back on, so I'm going to put them on, and then I'm going to take a video of it running and compare that video to a video I had previously and see if tightening up the rocker arms had any effect on the noise of the engine because it has been ticking like crazy. So we'll see. They all definitely needed to be retightened, so it's good I got in there and did that. So in just a moment, I will be turning on the engine. All right, everything is back together. So, the next step is just to run the engine. 